Hello and welcome back to Time in the UK, or should I say Time and Temperature if I'm going to be talking about thermostats. So, what I've got today is we've got a new product, I put, well, new product for me anyway. It's manufactured by a company called Pro Wireless Programmable Thermostat. Now, I believe it's a budget version of a Honeywell. I could well be wrong. It's a mid-range price unit. And what do you get in the box? Well, you get the head unit and the receiver, two batteries. There's two batteries. Oh, let's get them out. Some instructions. Stand. Wall mounting plate. And some screws. So I think that this is the stand, so let's try and slide that into there. Uh, I won't consult the instructions, I've never seen one of these before in my life. That stands together like that. And on the flip side we've got a couple of tangs, and it looks to me like the head unit. Yeah, head unit snaps in. So that's it. So that's how you snap the base together into the head unit. Okay, so we've got the Pro logo on the front and on the receiver we've also got the Pro logo. Or have we? No, we've got no logo on the receiver. And to open this thing it looks like you put your screwdriver in there. So let's go and get a screwdriver. Okay, so the screwdriver just goes in there and it eases the unit apart. And the unit has a back plate. And it looks to be fairly straightforward to wire. We've got live, neutral, and live. I suspect the reason that there's two lives is that one can be brought out and brought into here to provide a switch, switch live. So let's look at that. This is the inside of the receiver. Fairly standard. Nothing really to see here. And on the front, it looks like you've got an override button and that's it. On this unit here, again, not much to see. So let's pop the batteries in and see if anything springs to life, which is a little bit tough to get in. Possibly because I'm doing it at an angle. Yep, okay, so it's asking me for a year. So, well, I've never, like I said, I've read the instructions. I've only ever used similar things. So I'm gonna increase that to 22. Uh, which one do you think is okay? Uh, that looks like a tick function there. So let's try that one. Month, let's take that down to two. Day, so. We can increase that all the way to 22, or we can go minus. I think it's quicker to go minus, 20 second. Tick, how at time. And it is quarter, 20 to five, so. 17, tick, minutes, 45. We'll go down again. Actually not 45, uh, 42. Tick again, saved. Ah, right, there we go. So we seem to have the date in, we seem to have the time in, we seem to have the temperature in. Let's see what menu does. Menu, program, okay. Well, this button here looks to be a tick. So I think we want to program it, but what else have we got? Let's see, we've got set, program, set. Let's try program first then. Okay, so Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Uh, looks to me like you have to set one day and copy it. Okay, so let's go for Monday, tick, 
program one, it looks like we've got four programs. Uh, okay, so P1, uh, yep, 630 is okay for me. 21 degrees, yeah, that's fine. And it's going to the next zone at eight o'clock. Uh, 16 degrees, that's fine. Uh, and now we've got 6 p.m. and we've got 21 degrees again, which is fine. And 4 p.m., slot number four, which is the last one of the day, is at 11.30, sorry, 10.30, and that's 16 degrees. Let's tick that. And we can copy, okay, so if we go to Monday, press copy to, uh, we can choose what day to copy Monday to. So we can drop to, to day number two and press tick, saved. To number three, saved. Number four, saved. Five, saved. So Monday's been copied to every day of the week. Uh, we could edit a different uh, set of programs for Saturday, but in this case, I'm just gonna copy it to seven days a week, which is, is probably already on there anyway, to be fair. Saved, program, and then what else we got? We got set, tick. Yeah, so that's the time, so that's it. That is fairly simple to program. You just program your, your four zones. I don't know if this is uh, smart zone compatible. Obviously, there's no other functions on, oops, sorry. There's no other functions on this, so it's just your program. Uh, presumably, you look, if you look at the menu, you've got menu, auto, and manual. Right, so currently it's 18.5 degrees, and the, heat, the heating is off. I can look at that, and that tells me I've got menu, auto, manual. We can hit this up arrow, and we can change our target value. In this case, I'm going to change it to 24 degrees. That's now going to send a signal to this unit. In theory, if this unit was connected, and I'm sure the lights would light up and the think boiler would start working. So what I need to do now is I need to set up a test rig. But I think that is the basic uh, programming of the Pro Wireless Thermostat. So I think this one would be good for possibly pensioners um, and the technophobes out there, because all you can do is set the date and time and four basic things during the day. The instructions that I have in front of me, I have some instructions for mounting uh, the receiver unit to the wall. There they are. And um, I'm looking at the instructions. And the first thing that they say is it needs to be a foot away from the, a foot away from the boiler, which is, I've never seen that before. Uh, over 30 seconds, yeah, over a foot away and it's got a tick. Obviously turn the power off, Split the unit, screw that to the back, back to the wall. Uh, it showed using a rear wiring solution there. It doesn't, but it seemed to be that you could perhaps bring the wiring in at the side. If you look there, there's some little snap outs that allow you to bring the wiring up the side of the back box, just like this surface mounted. There you go. Uh, and we've got your live, neutral, live, and then A and B. So, and then underneath, you put your wires into where they need to go and pop the little unit back together again. Hinge, hinge at the top, clips at the bottom. So we've got a couple of wiring diagrams here and one of which shows direct control. Uh, B looks to be, no, A looks to be your common. Yeah, so your live goes into A, which is your common. And it looks, it looks to me like they've put a link in there. Look, so they're picking the live up, sending it into A. Uh, and then that's switching across to B, which brings the boiler on. So that's a switch live solution there. This one here is using a combi boiler, and that's using uh, T1, T2 within the boiler. Okay, so that's just acting as a very large little heating link. So it's using the internal switch on the boiler. So once the switch is made, the boiler comes on. And this is a, a wiring solution for using a zone valve, using the relay switch in the zone valve to switch it on which again, using that, that, that live out there to bring your zone valve on. So it all looks fairly straightforward. Got some instructions on the back, which 
So it's choosing a suitable location, away from the sun, installing the thermostat onto its brackets, fitting the batteries, adjusting the thermostat and the wireless re relay box. So it says that we're gonna have a solid green and a red will flash if some, there's a problem, it loses communication. You can manually override by pressing this button. Again, I'll probably wire all this up to a uh, test rig and give that a good test because this is a product I've never used before. And here we have the wire, the instructions for the thermostat itself. And as you can see, it's just basically what I've showed you. Uh, it didn't, I didn't read the instructions before I fiddled with it. I worked it out straight away. So it must be fairly simple. So you're selecting the day, you're pressing confirm, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's copying the day. You've got your four time zones there, all preset. You can change the values of your time. You change the time and you can change the temperature to suit your requirements. So we've got the auto and we've got the manual. The manual, it ignores all the date and time stuff. So there's your date and time. Oh, it does say boiler plus actually. So if we look at the box, boiler plus, intelligent heating control, on off boiler control, wireless communications. It is boiler plus. So we've got a few uh, little troubleshooting guides. The battery's only on 10% of its power. The battery's critically low. Is a sensor fault. Thermostat's flashing, blah, blah. So some few basic faults there, which, you know, should be fairly easy to rectify. Most of them will be uh, either changing the batteries in this or turning it up and down a few times. In my experience, that generally sorts it out. So there we go. That's a quick overview of the wireless, the Pro Wireless programmable thermostat, Boiler Plus compliant. It's got boiler on and off control unit. Um, so this could, I suppose, theoretically be used for air conditioning as well, because if you look at the wiring diagram, you've got A, B and C. C could technically be used to bring on an air conditioning unit if you weren't using a heating boiler. So if you lived in a hot climate, wanted to bring your aircon on you'd wire your uh, your boiler in this case would be an air conditioning unit and you'd wire it to C. there you go so yeah hope you've enjoyed this little video hope you found it useful please like comment and su subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips about heating and other stuff thank you very much i'll be time in the uk should be time and temperature shouldn't i eh? uh with, with looking at controls i'll see you later Thanks again. Take care. Bye.